Hey loves, what's going on? This is SG here. Um, I'm really tapping in on this idea of fire earth. So I need to do air and water. Let's see what's going on with the collective for air. Do not leave a Aquarius spirit. Oh, there was something that took place while I was um preparing. I seen June 30th, so somebody wrote it could be June 30th. There's a message that's gonna be in here for you. Whoa, something. <laughs> Gemini Libra Aquarius. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So there could be an offer coming in for you guys, or somebody's moving towards you guys. We have the Knight of Cups here. There's my Oh yeah, so a cycle has been broken also. Um, whoever was doing magic on you guys, um, <laughs> it's been broken. Okay. Your spirit guys told that motherfucker. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody did something to y'all finances too. So on you guys' finances, it's been broken. Wow, yeah. See? Queen of Pentacles. So y'all on y'all money. Whoa, okay. Y'all manifesting. Hey, thanks, Spirit, for the confirmation. Shooky dookie. <laughs> Some of y'all got a twin too um that's doing magic. Um this is not necessarily love magic for all of you. Uh, because I did used to pick that up a lot. Um twins doing magic to pull um divine feminines back in or vice versa. Some of you, um, you divine feminines are doing that with the twins too, which honestly I can't judge y'all, but I will leave that alone. I'm just saying, if it's meant for y'all, y'all to come back, y'all choose to let it be organic, like don't force it. <laughs> I'm gonna be forcing nothing, honey, y'all. It's 2022, y'all shouldn't be forcing nothing, okay? They gonna want to come back, they gonna come back, yes, at, at times. Majority of the time is magic being done on them, but uh, let the most high take care of that. This kept coming out or sliding out the king of pentacles, yeah. So, some of y'all, some of y'all could be meeting up with someone, kept on towards Virgo, but not necessarily so. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be meeting up. Um, a lot of you could be cutting out a lot of people, telling people how you feel, deciding to just walk away, feel the death right here. Um, some of you guys could have told somebody. Oh Lord, shooky dicky. <sighs> um, be mindful. I know it's it's cool to tell people how you feel, but sometimes when you tell people stuff, they get a little <clears throat> for different stuff for different folks. There, I'm picking up an uh, energy too, where you tell someone something and someone feels so um, heartbroken that they um decide they're contemplating. I'm sorry, on suicide. I don't know. Yeah, see, it came out again. So be mindful. Like, I keep telling people there's a difference between telling people how you feel or defending yourself. Okay. The reason I say this, um, oh, y'all don't mind my nails. I was moving something and my whole nail came off. That shit hurt. It's still trying to heal. Um, some, oh, that's what it was. I kept being drawn to my nail being healing. So if some of you could be trying to go through a healing process. I don't know if someone broke their finger or dislocated their finger, something about a muscle. Um, this could be a, a love um, situation also, but I kept picking up something because I know it's synchronous. I'm going to magician keep slack. Did y'all see the magician just slid into my hand on this side? I flipped it when you shuffle and it literally flipped over to the side. So you guys need to be mindful. I'm picking up something that's the overall energy. Yeah, this could be an Aries. A Aries. Oh my God. Somebody's doing magic. And Aries could be doing magic on you guys too, collective. Yep. Here I go again. <laughs> this person is so stubborn, loves. They're so stubborn. You see this man, he's like, oh, why the fuck is not working? What is going on? Why haven't she or he or she um, reached out to me? What the fuck? Pay attention to what I'm telling you. A lot of you don't even want to pay attention to what's being said or done, if, especially if it's telepathic, okay? Somebody's using um, flowers. 
Oh, something with tulips. That's amazing. That's my favorite flower. Hmm. Tulips. Tulips. Tulip tulips. Yeah, I keep picking up something with this ample, this Aries. Doing magic on it, guys. Okay. Hold on. Ooh, okay, they standing up like right here, right here. Pick them, pick them, <laughs> pull them, pull them. <laughs> so whoever this is, this could have, been, could have been someone from your past loves, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, they got judgment um playing on them right now. The energy that they're um encumbering. Um, also what I'm feeling like you guys could have Leo in your chart. Um, whoever this person was, they were extremely toxic. Um, dealt with a lot of toxic individuals. Uh, this could be a Leo as well. Okay. The elements that I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. So you guys can be dealing with anyone within there. Somebody's dealing with uh, Aquarius or somebody that is uh, possibly an entrepreneur who's very well known, who's on their money. The Queen of Pentacles came out twice. This is the second time, love bugs. Okay. This person is sitting back literally um, chillaxing. Like, what else can I do? I'm just like so bored. I have all the money that I, I can ever want for people just flocking at my feet. And <laughs> it's not who I want. These people are not who I want to be with. So you guys are um, literally getting everything you, your heart desires. But look at that. Yeah, an office that's coming in you don't want. But I do pick up the Germanian card. Oh, the lover's card for some reason. King of Pink. Whoa, okay. They're all doing the damn thing. Whatever somebody did, they tried to block you. Because judgment is here again. But I feel like they could have did a death spell on you guys. And that <laughs> y'all see them great. I mean, them. Um, what do you call them? Uh, Lord Jesus, it's literally right there. OMG. I just <laughs> it was right there again. What do you call the uh uh um what okay so let me just put it this way. It's it's um somebody was doing death rituals on you guys to be in a car accident, to get shot, to be in some type of chaos, um, to where somebody could stab you, you know, and it looked like, you know. Um, it was some type of bra or you were accidentally shot and going in an area, whatever the case may be. They put some type of chaos. It's like a, uh, a death. How should I say it? They put a death ritual on you, but to make it look as though it was an accident by somebody else, but it was actually really them. So in other words, they tried to cloak themselves. Now, if this not them doing it personally, they pay someone overseas or something to do it. Okay, but what's going to happen is, I'm sorry to say, but, you know, that's why I always tell people, be mindful how you treat people <clears throat> and the energy that you send towards them because you dig in the, uh, that, uh, that grave for yourself. So what you're sending out, <laughs> be prepared that it's going to ricochet right back to that ass. Okay. Wow. So somebody could have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm picking up Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and an air sign. Air sign. Wow, that's not what I was going to say. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. <clears throat> Could be missing business with pleasure. <sighs> not a good idea, loves, but hey, do you. Because <clears throat> you got to keep in mind. <clears throat> keep in mind. See, uh, 651. Uh, I'm going to here. Y'all are strictly manifesting a lot. Some of y'all could be thinking about going into business. Also, I'm picking up, I keep being drawn to this Aries, this Emperor card, looking at a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, like they're not giving them no time, giving them no poo, poo nanny. Um, they're not allowing them to get their energy. So, let me flip that. Sorry. I don't know if I can see my messages. So I'm going to cross my screen. Wow, yeah, you guys are protected. <laughs> you guys are most definitely protected. Sorry about my nails, y'all. I've been doing a lot, and they 
been ripping. Like literally my whole damn nail. That shit hurts. I'm trying to let them heal before I can get them done as well. Because every time I want them, I was like, nope. Ooh, that stuff be hurting. Yeah, so if you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, I mean Capricorn and Taurus, talk about a toxic energy. And you know this. Something, whatever's not being um shown, like hidden, is going to uh, suffice. Why did I say suffice? It's going to surface. So you need to stop being a fool for this person too. I just feel like this person... Whoever this Capricorn is that's in your energy, you guys need to be very mindful, okay? I just feel like this person is extremely toxic. They could have multiple love interests too. So y'all need to be careful. This also, this Capricorn could be a person that's doing um, death rituals on you or paying someone to do it for you. For you, Or is it you guys? Because I said for you. You guys doing death rituals on people? Y'all need to be careful with that shit. That stuff going to come back on y'all ass, okay? It's something you continue to keep doing. Every time you reincarnate, you're doing the same bullshit. But so I need to be careful because I think people fail to realize <clears throat> just because you take... Okay, keep in mind. Say you go to the bank, right? I don't know why I'm being drawn to tell y'all this. Say you go into the bank. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hold on, love, because uh, I need my day go tea. Mm. Sorry, y'all. I had to make me some herbal tea this morning. My apologies. Um, say you're going to the bank. You're drawing out funds, okay? And the funds that you're drawing out has your energy on it, right? Everything has your energy. Whatever you touch, your energy is on there. Your essence is on there. I don't care if you touch your phone. You touch your phone and you zail somebody or cash out somebody, Venmo somebody, PayPal somebody. Your essence is in this phone, right? Your essence is in the energy that you're flowing, that you send it to a high priestess, a sorcerer, a warlock, right? You send in this person money to do a death ritual on somebody you can't stand just because you're jealous of them, okay? Or you feeling like, damn, they're doing a the damn thing. They're getting more followers than me. Like, are y'all serious? When you do... Things like that. Your energy, your essence is in the mix. That energy of yours is flowing to the person who's doing the um. Yeah, this is for somebody. My nose is itching like crazy. Ooh. So your essence is in there, right? You're the one who's helping try, allegedly try and take somebody down. And when I say allegedly, well, no, let me not say the allegedly. Trying to take somebody, I mean just that. The most high, their ancestors got you and they got that person that's um doing the sorcery keep in mind when you, you if you guys don't understand how much protection a person has and how their ancestors are and how the most high is looking over them did y'all just hit that crow <laughs> my ancestors be on point they be on these buildings watching me that's how i know everywhere i go i see them when I travel, I see eagles and owls. Like, come on. Y'all, y'all stop doing this shit. It's not worth it. Okay, it's not worth it. Do what you came here to do. Don't worry about nobody else. Let people do what the fuck they're gonna do with digging. They dig in their own damn grave. Please stop. Because what you feel, what you guys I keep telling y'all, what y'all feel to realize is when you do shit like this. Do you know what happened to your kids, your auntie, your uncles, your cousins? Now, and I'm speaking of people that y'all love dearly with all your heart. You digging a grave for, for your somebody who's allegedly is your enemy, but they're really not your enemy because they really don't get two fucks about you. But you, you using all your energy, hawking and watching them and stuff. Like, come on, you being that page of swords, like constantly just watching them, seeing what they're doing, how they're glowing up. I don't understand why people can't be happy for people. Or if you don't even like the person... Why don't you look internally at why you don't like them? Is it really you? Or you masquerading as though everybody's against you and you got people on your platform thinking somebody else is doing things to you. Like, grow the fuck up, y'all. Like, seriously. We came here to do a fucking job. You look psychotic, seriously. People look really psychotic when you do shit like that. And, and your, um, your subscriber's gonna start looking at you funny. Like, why is they constantly going at everybody? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, grow the fuck up. 
Seriously. All that negative, and people be talking about they of love and light, but all that negative energy that you're projecting, that projecting on your, your subscribers too. You do know that, right? For you spiritualists, you do know that. All that negativity you projecting is projecting on subscribers because your subscribers are looking at your videos. Yes? Okay. Just thought I missed that. Somebody going into Hermit mode too? Wow, bam. Good Lord. Wow. Somebody's turning their back. <clears throat> could be on a Scorpio. There could be a Pisces turning their back on a Scorpio. Wow. Yeah. I immediately felt Libra too. I don't know where that's coming from, but I immediately felt Libra. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't see how Libra coincide with some of this, but that's that's what I was. I just trying to Libra. Well, there's a Pisces, a Scorpio, and a Libra in the middle of something that's going on. I'm also picking up something about a stabbing because I see this sword here and and the person laying down. You see, I'm picking up something about a stabbing between them. A Pisces, a Libra, and a Scorpio. Somebody's about to get stabbed because somebody keeps fucking with somebody. I'm just saying, y'all better be careful. Be careful how y'all be going at people on here because I'm telling y'all, like I stated before, <clears throat> all this, like that shit with Cardi B and Tasha K, people getting tired, especially readers getting tired and tired and tired, like so exhausted with other readers coming at them, whether it's defamation of character, <clears throat> Rather that's um, harassment. And then you see people doing stuff and thinking it's not being recorded or people grasping it and saving it. Other, other, uh, how should I say this? If you have subscribers and your subscribers come across another reader's feed where they uh, defaming you or um, just sending subliminals or harassing you, okay? That subscriber is able to get that before people delete stuff and they send it to you right you able to save it and you not only um get that shit flagged but you get so to the point where you get so fucking tired that you're going to take le uh, legal action against them i'm telling y'all people finna start taking legal action readers are about to start taking legal action against people that's constantly harassing them <laughs> And they shit finna get shut down. So now you finna fuck up your money. Like, that makes see, Look at that. The sun card and the judgment. Like, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> you motherfuckers need to stop doing this stupid shit. This is, look at that. Everything gonna work out in your favor. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> they want that smoke, they finna get it. Now they finna get their shit shut down. Now they finna gonna have to pay out some money. Because they was too busy sitting up there trying to, um, you know, act as though they're better than everybody else or they're jealous of you. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh my God, like, get a life. That shit finna be shut the fuck down. People gotta stop. Like, come on. What's more important? You sitting up here constantly bad math another reader <clears throat> when you could just be doing your job. Ignore that shit. Like, what the fuck? Sometimes, yeah, it's okay to speak your mind and defend yourself. But do you think you gotta cont continue to keep doing stuff? No. Let them dig their grave for themselves. And that's what I have learned. Let a motherfucker dig their own grave because <laughs> they're going to run across a motherfucker that really don't care. Give two fucks. And I'm telling you, whoosh, okay. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be some shit. Motherfucker finna stumble and all their money finna go with it. Okay. That'll be the end of it. Give me some more spirit. Thank you. The fool. Yes. See? They're going to drown in their own shit because they keep taking action. And doing shit that they're not supposed to be doing. And what's going to happen is the motherfucking ass is going to drown. And then all they, all they motherfucking money and shit finna go with it. Okay? Some bullshit. Some shit is just not worth it. It truly isn't. Mm. Yeah, see? Man. What the fuck? Now people got to think twice about what the fuck they did, what the fuck they said. Some people just go so tired, you guys. People just tired. They don't want to do with all this nonsense. People keep doing the same old BS. This 2022, people want to glow up. People want to move forward. People got things to do. They ain't got time for all that negative energy. Mm -mm -mm. 
they about their money. Wow, and I keep picking up. Somebody's doing it, um, not just a clothing line, but um, what is this? Um, some type of facial. Thank you, spirit. The um, not just a clothing line, but it's it's uh something spiritual. I'm also picking up something with the face. Cause they keep showing me this young lady's face on the Empress here. Somebody's about to go to court or they seeking counsel. Oh, holy moly. There's some, wow. Y'all going to start seeing a lot of readers seeking. Y'all not going to know it just yet. They're going to keep it to themselves. They getting all the dirt on somebody. All the videos that they uploaded, these are readers, okay? That's getting <laughs> they subscribers is going to those um enemies who keep calling them an enemy, but they really not thinking shit about this person, okay? They don't care. They got their own shit they gotta deal with. They they trying to be on their money, be on their family, take care of their kids, whatever they, you know, whatever the case may be, okay? Excuse me, loves. But what they're doing is they seeking counsel on that ass, okay? The time has come, honey. They tired of this shit. They ain't finna do this in 2022, okay? They putting a stop to this shit. So a lot of readers are seeking counsel. Good for y'all. Seeking counsel. Y'all got videos on people. Defaming your character. Y'all got videos on people constantly keep harassing you. Especially if it's somebody who constantly keep doing it and then they keep trying to delete it. But what it is is that it's not it, just because you delete it don't mean that somebody didn't capture it and send it to them. And they got the they got the business, okay? And that's what's gonna win this um fucking lawsuit. I'm telling y'all, a lot of readers is finna be smart about it, okay? They finna start sending these other readers, taking these other readers to court, and they finna win big time, okay? For harassment, defamation of character. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why I keep picking this up, but I know it's for somebody. <laughs> yes. Oh hell yeah. Ooh, y'all hold on. <laughs> yes thank you so much lord yes yeah oh that's messed up mm -mm 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 -mm. people gonna learn <laughs> stop fucking with people <laughs> and they finna go up with all that money too ain't getting changed look at that at the bottom of the deck i'm telling y'all motherfuckers getting tired of the bullshit okay number 29 is on there <laughs> oh wait a minute make sure these babies Mm -mm -mm. People are tired of the boo, and they like, look, I ain't got time for this, and not in 2022, baby. You got me fuck up, okay? Got me fuck up, Earth sign. Oh, ooh, somebody dealing with Earth sign. <laughs> yeah, somebody's dealing with an Earth sign. So some of you readers are taking an Earth sign before. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh huh. Yeah, see, y'all getting y'all revenge. I told y'all. Y'all ain't for the bullshit. Because these people just angry as hell. <clears throat> mm -mm. What else you got for us? Thank you. <clears throat> Ooh, yes. Things finna work in your favor, loves. Because these cards just slid and they came right to me. Okay. Wow, a lot of you need to step out on faith and stop hiding your true self. Okay. What does she have? Is it number 14 to resonate with somebody? Thank you. <clears throat> oh, somebody's about to bear it all. Some of y'all could be taking new photos. Because this lady is literally like half naked and she's she's posing. She's posing, but I'm picking up an energy where you're taking it and you're sending it to, to people, okay? It says naked before the stars. <laughs> somebody could be actually going on somebody's video and you're half naked. Could be posing in a, um, what they call them? Not a steam, well, steam room is coming up, but what I was going to say is like those big pools and you're actually naked. <clears throat> Anything else here? Thank you. 
Yeah, somebody actually is clinging on you, you guys too much, and you think it's like, um, you know what, this person's getting on my nerves. I don't have no breathing room. This, um, some of you could be dealing with somebody that you feel is just too clingy. <clears throat> Excuse me, loves. Some of y'all have literally a twin that's mirroring you. This can be uh, a twin, a spiritual twin, but this can also be a twin. Uh, how should I say it? A twin, a blood twin. You just tired of them being in your energy all the time. You feel like you can't do anything by yourself. Yes, peaceful among thorns. <laughs> this these karmic energies, loves. The individuals that I keep telling all about that's constantly doing shit. Okay, and you just get to the point where you're getting tired, tired and fed up. And you got to constantly keep doing more of your um, <clears throat> inner peace. Excuse me, number 18, 14, 19, <clears throat> 26. The number 8 can mean something to someone as well. There's some type of change. Some of you guys are getting tired of going to um, see a psychiatrist or some type of counselor. Or you're ceasing it. If you need it, please don't stop. <clears throat> I'm being glad to tell you, please do not stop. <clears throat> yeah, some of y'all could be going um, to AA meetings. Also, some of you guys need to get seek counseling if you're addicted to something. It could be sex, but I'm picking up uh, drugs. The number 11, yeah. The number 7. It's 7 or 8 literally on the clock. And um, I don't know, it's something with the number 11. <laughs> Somebody's masquerading. Uh, two faces as hell. <laughs> number 15 can mean something to somebody. This person... <laughs> I don't know what you did to this person, but they seeking revenge on you. So the number 15, the number six, excuse me, love the numbers. Uh, 55 can mean something to somebody because I see 14, but I see five here on the hair front. Of course, the 14 um, trickles down to a five, so five, five. Okay, something to put um, some doors, uh, windows of opportunity. Just uh, open up for you guys, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If they haven't, they will, okay? Keep in mind the messages I'm being guided to say, the messages that I give are timeless so whenever you guide it to the messages it is meant for you <laughs> or someone within your energy any other messages from this deck here <clears throat> any other messages from this deck please sorry y'all there we go queen of my world i know that's right <laughs> you're the queen in your own fucking world can nobody shift shit for you okay let the most high and your ancestors take care of the masses. <laughs> they ain't got shit on them. And people think, they think that they're cloak. They are not cloak. They're not cloak from the most high, right? So if the most high can see them, you can see them. <laughs> How are they cloak? Come again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these people are envious as fuck. Oh my God, look at that. I told y'all, this is crazy. They either jealous because you growing up. Could be faster than they thought. I'm also picking up. You're very beautiful. There's something about. I don't know. What the fuck? You got something to do with your skin color. Are they jealous of your skin color? What the fuck? Are you serious? Spirit keeps showing me the skin color on each one of these ladies. And it's a fair skin. Let me show y'all because I'm not lying. They could be jealous of your body. I don't know if your breast is bigger than this person. Like, what the? Girl, listen. This some bull. Y'all see this, 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 these young ladies on here. All their skin is fair skin. So somebody's envious of somebody's skin complexion. Really? <clears throat> and that's weird because I got this in another deck, but I end up not saying it. Which I should have. Um... That's crazy. Somebody's pleasuring themselves. You are just seeing discernment. So you guys need to be <clears throat> being a discernment of who you are um, doing. Pleasuring yourself to somebody's picture or pleasuring yourself to somebody's um, <clears throat> video or whatever the case that is. Be careful who you get. Y'all don't know. Y'all uh, <laughs> transmitting some energy yet, right? Mm -hmm. Or somebody's doing this to you.
Yeah, I'm a very, very, very resilient. Okay, hey. You know, let's just, we have a resilient number 21 for me. Something to somebody. Somebody's going ham on YouTube or whatever platform you guys have. You're going ham on it. Do the damn thing, okay? Trust the process. Trust the process, love. Something is going on with the moon phase is for you guys. So number 32 can mean something to somebody. Here go another five, 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 five. So you guys are going through a major transition, okay? Why am I being guided to? Okay. Somebody's doing a fragrance line. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking up the color black for some reason. <clears throat> Somebody's taking a look more in themselves, doing a lot of more introspection. Um, <clears throat> like, really, is this me or what's going on with me? Um, this is not what I want to portray. Let me stop doing this. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's something. If y'all dealing with a ze uh, zebra... I don't know where the zebra coming from. A Libra or a Sag. There's a Libra and a Sag trying to set you guys up. So I suggest y'all be careful. Your intuition is telling you this. Also, somebody's looking into your finances too. I don't know why the fuck they're doing that. No Zazes. Yeah, somebody's literally watching you guys. Also, to see if they can um come in. So, it's like if you guys turn somebody down, they really disappointed and depressed could be a cancer pisces scorpio they're going through some type of depression you could have blocked this person i'm picking up something about block this I, I, i'm gonna just keep it real oh wow so we got i see the wheel of fortune the empress okay the knight of pentacles i also see the star and the king of cups what the engine I'm picking up with this is that you and could be with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Somebody got Aquarius in their chart too. Um, there is some type of cycle um, that you guys are supposed to complete. You're supposed to actually come together, is what I'm looking at here, um, and build some type of wealth. Um, you guys are supposed to birth something new together, like multiple business. You got like multiple streams of income. Okay, you guys are gonna supposed to sit down and um, think of a lot of ideas. Like some of you may have the um, the resilience, the the drive to do, it, and then the other one got the creativity, or you both have the creativity. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Some of you are Leo. Some of y'all are Aries, Leo, or Sag. I'm picking up strongly about Sag. Sag supposed to be coming together. Could possibly be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is about to offer you something, Sag, or you yourself, or Leo is about to offer a Sag or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or something, or it could be vice versa. I just feel like somebody's literally seeking you out or trying to find a way to get to you. <clears throat> I'm also picking up. Somebody's really literally standing their ground again, tired of your emotional. <laughs> you're up one minute, you're down the next. <clears throat> Somebody's upset with somebody. I'm picking up something about being two faces. See, I told y'all, I kept picking up the, the lover's card too. Um, there it will be a tower moment due to a toxic individual. Somebody's gonna be walking away and finding out about somebody having multiple parties, multiple uh, love interests. Also, somebody's gonna find out that somebody's been doing magic on their ass too. So just letting y'all know. I don't know why I was led to look at all those, but uh yeah. Whoa. Somebody's coming out of hiding because this was in reverse, it was flipped, and when I flipped it over. I immediately chime when somebody's coming out of hiding. <clears throat> this could be a Gemini. Or the Gemini is looking for you, thinking you're in hiding. <clears throat> oh, what? Okay, love bugs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is all that I have for you guys. So um, please stay in your truth. Don't even worry about <laughs> your haters. Um, they will be okay. Okay. Your ancestors, the more high got you, so don't even worry about it. Till next time, love bugs. Later. Oh, shit. Loves. <laughs> I got to upload water. I don't know why I'm telling y'all that, but you may have water in your chart where you're dealing with someone water. So I'm about to upload it. So give it some time. 
Um, don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell and smash that motherfucking subscription. Okay. Till next time. Later.